Hey there's Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back with another wine review for you. We are rounding out this year, 2021. Oh my gosh. Did it go by fast for you? It went by fast for me with all the wine I was drinking, right? <laughs> so to add to that list, that long list of wines in these wine reviews, well, let me say this first. If you're new here, these are reviews of wines you can find on the shelves of your local liquor store, grocery store, and some wine shops. I do a review of these wines and give you my opinion with the infamous thumb rating system. Thumbs up means I recommend that wine. In fact, I have some of this wine on hand and I recommend that you give it a try and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. Three quarters, you know what? If I'm hanging at a party and you just happen to randomly grab a glass of wine, it's like, oh my God, it's like overwhelmingly impressed by the wine. Uh, that's what three quarters mean. That I would drink this wine, I would rock it, and I would even share it with my friends. In fact, I'll keep a few bottles at home of that one for everyday drinking. Halfway, not so much for me, you know, and I'll give you details of why it didn't work for me, but it just didn't work for me and my palate, but maybe it worked for yours. And thumbs down, that's always a good one you know thumbs down but then there's always every so often we get that infamous double thumbs up that means it's highly recommended you know i highly recommend you give that wine a try so let's get to why we're here today we're going to be going to california more specifically the stag's leap area or napa right and so today's wine is going to be if you can get a picture of that the stag's leap Cabernet Sauvignon 2018. Now this is a pretty extra special uh, bottle from Stag's Leap in that it is the 125th anniversary of their first vintage from the Stag's Leap winery. 125 years ago. You know, we're talking the 1800s in this case. Here we go, right? So 125 years ago, they made their first bottle of wine and now, then that was 2018. 2018 marked 125 years and uh, they produce this wine so it says it on the, on, the, on the neck of the bottle on the label 125 year anniversary you know and so let's see uh, what we got here so this is a uh, Cabernet now I know there's rules you know with, uh, when it comes to wine and what grapes you uh, utilize in the wine in California and other areas you know 75 85 percent of one varietal it's that varietal you can call it that right okay so now I dug into it. It is Cabernet at 80 per, over 80%. You know, the grape, but there's a little bit of Merlot in this wine. Uh, Petit Verdot. I got my notes here. Uh, Malbec and Tanat. Small percentages, you know, but predominantly uh, Cabernet. I myself call it a blend, but it's a Cabernet. So get a look at that color. Isn't that color beautiful? I mean, it is, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking wine. I have to tell you that it is a gorgeous looking wine. You know, uh, it's coming in at alcohol of 14.2%. You know, but it's a beautiful looking wine. Let me get my background here. So we're talking like deep purples in this wine. I mean, it is, it is so beautiful. Every now and then you see a beautiful wine. I mean, almost inky. It's just, it's just so beautiful. You know, on the nose, I can smell the nose from here. Oh my God! It's it's like a a fruit bowl of berries on the nose, just for right here, right? So it spends about uh, twenty months in oak in French barrels. Twenty months in French barrels, uh, part new and part season. Right, let's get that nose. Oh my gosh! I mean, you know, when you think about, when you hear about, you know, the different. Uh, 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 nose or aromatic elements you know for Cabernet I mean this is like hitting the points there you know you got a little bit of licorice the currant the plum you got some spice notes here you know like a little, little like like pepper oh nice wow this it, the nose the nose is wonderful 125 years right? 20, 125 years I'm gonna be drinking 125 year old wine in the making right how cool is that so let's do our rinse first you know i feel about that rinse the wine i don't care how special it is if there's no acidity and this wine is flat it's not going to work for me here we go
Wow. Great acidity. You know, I think it'd be a fantastic food partner. You can definitely pick up on the little pepperiness. You know, uh, well, just in my grits. Tannins are like silk. You know, they're smooth. Not over over the top, not crazy. Oh, nice tannins, but they're there. I mean, it's it's pretty well blended. You know, the flavors are never there, but it's pretty well blended. The you know, the tannins, fourteen percent alcohol. I mean, it has some body to it, but fourteen percent alcohol, no. I and mean, it's not the it's not the chewy cab either. Okay, it's it's very elegant, but it has you know the definitely those, those uh, cabernet characteristics. So now for our actual taste. Wow. I mean, it just goes down smooth. Nice fruit. Oh, wait. I get like, like, uh, that <laughs> was like mint. Ooh, that was interesting when I just inhaled the air. <laughs> very interesting, but very subtle when it was there. I mean, I like the way it feels in my mouth. I'm going to do it one more sip. Wow, it has uh, that mid palate of like ripe fruit taste to it. Not at forty percent again; it's not heavy, but it has it's a nice elegance to it. Uh, good character, good flavor, good structure. I'm gonna try this probably with a pizza after I finish this review, <laughs> but definitely a good structure. So let's get right to it. So the 2018 Stag's Leap Cabernet 125th anniversary, the Wisconsin wine guy is going to give this one a thumbs up. You know, uh, I, I'm digging it. You know, I, I would I would drink this. I mean, it's 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 not in that double thumbs up area for me. You know, I would like a little bit more. You know, uh, complexity to it to get that double thumbs up area. But maybe if I sit on it for a little while longer, maybe that would happen. But that's not going to happen. But thumbs up for sure. You know, it is it is a good recommendation. You can't go wrong with it. You know, in trying this wine. And besides, it's 125th anniversary, 2018. Uh, I always like to be to taste some of that history. It took 125 years for this wine uh, of this type of this style to be made. So there you have it. Thumbs up. I recommend it. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Let us all know what you think. And we're coming to the end of our 2021 wine reviews. And as always, I want to say to you, let your palate be the guide to selecting your wine. Ciao.